Tarzan in the house. His name is the real Tarzan. My man, the real Tarzan, came down. 24-year-old Michael Holston out on the water at night. With its scenes of charging rhinos, savage pygmies, and the great hunter. Tarzan. He's the king of the junkie. Welcome to the Tarzan Show. Today's episode, Saltwater Crocodiles, Mangrove Snake. Let's freaking go! Oh, two babies! Wow! Well, I love monkeys, man. Put that in the middle, babe. It's right there. Uh, hey, if we get close, I'll jump him. Okay. Guys, we just spotted a big ass water monitor. Guys, today's quote, have a purpose in life. My purpose in life is to give you guys motivation, give you guys guidance, okay? Before, a long time ago, I used to be homeless, but I always knew in my mind, if I work hard, I can achieve anything. God gives us strength, God gives us mercy, and God gives us a vision, imagination as a kid that we can still have today as grown men and grown women as we're growing and make those dreams come to reality. Don't stop, chase your dreams, and give it all you got. Use all your strength, all your might, and you will one day feel that feeling of greatness. It's within all of you guys. I love you guys. Let's go. Hmm. Oh, mantap. Ooh. So, this is actually one of orangutan's favorite food. It's called the rock fruit. They grow off these uh, these palm trees, and this is a, it, it, it kind of looks like a lychee. Oh man, so good. You have any more? Oh yes, you have more. Oh yeah, man. Wow. Life in the jungle is always mwah. <laughs> that the cameras? Yeah. yeah. See that? Oh, yeah. 
To my big one. Hey. Oh, big one, bro. Oh, nice. He's coming down. Mike. Yeah, got him. Oh, 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 oh. oh man. Whoa. Right in the head. Bro. Right bro. <laughs> what the? <laughs> gotta check this out. Dentro filler. Boiga. Boiga. Wow. <laughs> now this is a venomous snake, he's pooping everywhere. Now the venom is mild, it's not too toxic, it's about a 3 out of 10. Um, but it just depends on your immune system. Uh, if, for, for instance, if some people are stung by bees, they can potentially die. They go in anaphylactic shock. But these guys have neurotoxic venom, but again, only about a 3 out of 10. Look at this guys, freaking... Ow! <laughs> I got bit by my first venomous snake. So, uh, well, the good thing is they're rear fanged. Um, he just bit me, but he didn't really. If you guys see, he's trying to like dig his fangs in there. So, hopefully, uh, I'm not gonna be too uh, uh, susceptible to it. But, dude, what the man? Freaking boy, I go, what the? And, uh, and uh, the locals call them datakamas, which means yellow ring snake. Now, these guys are gonna eat your lizards. They'll eat birds. They'll eat little squirrels. Anything they can catch out here. Now, they're arboreal, and uh, they'll keep moving at night, but during the day, these guys will be wrapped up in the mangroves. These guys, they also call them mangrove snakes. Mangrove cat-eyed snakes. Wow. Now, this was my, actually one of my first specimens I worked with as with venomous snakes. Um, as in, in, uh, in the States, you need a license to have one of these guys. And uh, it's good to learn how to work with colubrids. Um, wow, man. Look at this beauty, man. Freaking epic. Don't you bite me in the face. You already bit me in the arm. Bro, perfect specimen. What a beauty, man. Datakamas. Tata oh. Amas. <laughs> oh. <laughs> we're, we're, gonna, we're not gonna keep this guy. We're gonna let him go back. Yeah. Look at that. A little bit of blood. He again. He didn't get me too much, uh -huh. but definitely got some uh, some specks right there. So I might have minor swelling, but you know it ain't gonna kill me. It ain't nothing, bro. I've been bitten literally thousands of times. It's okay. That's my first ever venomous snake bite. <laughs> Cool man! Woo! Woo! Look, look it. at look at my father. You're a gangster right there. <laughs> oh. Wow guys. What a legend. So sick. Right out the tree into my hand. Caught him right by the neck too. Yeah man, yeah man, yeah man. Mm. Try try to teach him man. Beautiful snake, man. Beautiful snake. Barat lampu sih ini kan? Ini masak. Good. Okay. All right, buddy. Look, thank you so much, man for letting us hang out with you for a second. Now, these guys are in their native habitat, so of course I'm just gonna let this guy go. They're arboreal species, so I'm sure he'll just thrive up there in that tree. Get up in there, man. Go, 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 go. Look at him go, man. Yes. Bye-bye. Thank you, my friend. <laughs> so beautiful. Wow. Woo! Woo yes! You got it? Okay. Woo! Oh! Oh! It's a civet! Oh no no no! Slow loris! Oh! It's a slow loris! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Get close! Go! Oh! Brother, 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 brother. Oh my god! Bro! Look at him! Wow! 
Guys, if you look right there, it is a slow loris. Oh my goodness. You got it through? Yes. Perfect. Yeah, Perfect. Is that a snake in front of you? Snake, 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 snake in front of you. Snake, in, snake, the, in, the, in the water, in the water, in the water, in the water. Right in the water. Woo! Oh my god. Bro! What kind is this one? It's a dog face. Yeah, dog face water snake. Dog face water snake. Cerberus. I forget the He's deep in shed right now. <laughs> Ooh, look at this dog face water snake, guys. <laughs> Good spot, Toronto. Why wow, is that a snake? Freaking snake. Yeah, <laughs> Wow, man. What a beautiful species. This is actually one of the smaller species of uh, the uh, snakes we had released out in Vietnam. Dog face water snake. What a cutie kid. They get they get these big old heads. Hence the hence the face. Look, looks like a dog. And I'm pretty sure some of you guys at home are like, my dog looks nothing like that. <laughs> and the scientific yeah. name is Cerberus. Cerberus. Yes. Cool scientific. Mm, it smells good. Wow man. Okay. Then what release this guy? Check it out. Go, buddy. Go free. Woo! And that guy's right there. Some facts about it now. Ah, uh, I don't really know about this fish, bro. Yeah, but actually, these fish are sapping the water on their. How to say it? Yeah, on the cheeks. Yes. Oh, he's gone. So that fish right there you guys saw is a uh, mud skipper. Now they have these little small fins on the side and they skip through the mud. They will actually live in mud pockets and not go into the water even though they're fish. Now the cool thing is they hold water inside their cheeks and they slowly release it to keep them oxygenated on the land. And then when they see something that's one to eat them, they run into the water. How sick is that man? I love this place, filled with wildlife. Buffy fish owl. Amazing man. Another surprise. Beautiful night. Beautiful night. Ah. It's gone. Wow! Wow! Oh my goodness! Oh! Go get him! <laughs> what? No way! Yeah, Diaz! <laughs> Bro! No! Madness! Madness! Oh! Oh man! <laughs> 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 
brother. I say it to you, bro. Oh, oh. oh, hey. oh big yeah. boy, I got. It's okay, bro. <laughs> oh man, look at this sucker. The boys jumped in and grabbed this. No freaking way. Oh. <laughs> Dude, these boys are different out here, man. I swear. Boy, I got dendrophila. Ooh. Ooh. Bro, Borneo is different, man. Yo, you boys jumped right in. <laughs> Oh man, look at this guys, the second one of the night, you guys saw us release the first one, but man, this one was out swimming, it was just coming off the bank and swimming across the river, and the boy seen it and jumped right in and grabbed it, these guys are nuts man, <laughs> oh, I don't know what's cooler, the snake swimming or you guys jumping in, and, and we forget about the saltwater crocodiles, there's saltwater crocodiles everywhere in here, <laughs> oh my goodness. No worry, the crocodile's our friend. <laughs> bro, oh, a bro. true Bornean pleasure, man. Dude, it is an honor to be here, to witness these animals in their natural habitat. This guy's a little bigger than the last one we got, a little thicker, and a little longer. Um, as you guys can see, of course it's a venomous snake, and like I told you guys before, not all venomous snakes are just a pure evil, you know? Um, now these guys are rear fang, their fangs are all the way in the back, they'll chow on frogs, they'll eat squirrels, they'll eat birds, I mean whatever's out moving at night they'll try to take a snap at it and eat it. Uh, these guys are 100% arboreal species, but as you guys can see they'll come down and start swimming across the river. Oh man, now there's many types of different cat eye snakes, um, these guys love to hang out in the mangroves, now diurnal means you know the animals are going to be out during the day this guy's nocturnal meaning he's going to be out at night but there's some other animals that are crepuscular and uh you can tell also by their pupils that they hang out during dusk and dawn wow man so sick i mean oh a dream come true now i never encourage you guys to handle venomous snakes but if you guys ever want to get involved with the responsible keeping and handling the venomous snakes. This is a great one to start with. This is a great beginner. Man. Now these guys can easily turn up at any second, but you know, we're here and we're gonna let this guy go as well. Oh, man. It's an honor, man. A pure honor. Oh man, look at him. Hello, oh. Lord. Wonder, wonder. Lord, turn around, turn around. Oh my God, another Lars. Go, 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 here. Here. Go inside here. Inside here? No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Right here. See the eyes? Look up. Look yeah, up here. Up, 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 up. Right there. Right there. Right there. Okay, okay. Can you spot with this light? Sorry, sorry, sorry. Look. Okay. Right there. You see the eyes up there? He's moving. Oh, there he is. There oh, he is. My oh, God. oh, my God. Two Loris in the night. Oh my god! Bro! So much slug! Bro, what are the odds? Thank you, guys. What? Good morning. Hi, bro. Bro, so crazy. So crazy. So. Freaking crazy. Look at him move, guys. Nice and slow. Oh, 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 oh. my goodness.
siram. Wow. Look, look, look. Wow. The juvenile one. The juvenile. Jauh mau pang dari mana wah? Sini wah. Guys, I cannot. We just seen the slow loris. Not one time, but two times. Now, this animal is a nocturnal animal. Believe it or not, they are venomous. They have venom glands underneath their underarms. And mixed with their saliva, they lick themselves and they became a literally walking poisonous, venomous, toxic secretion from insects. No parasites are able to come on them and hurt them. And also, any other predators can't eat them either because they're so toxic. They have enough venom when they bite a grown man, they can send you an anaphylactic shock. That is incredible. Now, there has not been much research due to the fact that they live out at night and they're so freaking secretive. Now, these animals will live in old tree bark that's like rotted out by termites. They also love to hang out in old orangutan nests. Now, the thing is, scientists have not been able to document these guys and get so much research yet because they're so far off and deep in the jungle and they only come out at night and they're so secretive to keep climbing around they don't have any tails another cool fact about these guys is they have their wet nose monkeys um sorry not monkeys but they, they have wet noses meaning they're able to smell so much they have so much scent they are not communal but these slow lorises they spread all the saliva and their venom on their body and they leave scent trails for other lorises to come hang out and meet with them that's how they mate so insane to think about this animal they used to think there was only two subspecies. Now there's eight, all right? Now that goes to show you how much we don't know about our whole planet. Deep out in the abyss in the darkness of the jungle, there's slow lorises running around. I'm thinking they're in danger, but they're only vulnerable. But man, and nothing slow about them besides their digestive system. Uh, we don't really know how much they eat and what they eat, but they are omnivorous. They eat plants and animals. How freaking cool is that, man? We didn't see any crocodiles tonight, but we saw two boaga, two slow loris, a dog-faced water snake, an owl, a heron. I mean, man, mud skippers everywhere. This place is heaven on earth. Borneo, we have not disappointed at all. Every single day, every single night, we've been seeing so many animals. The wildlife here is so thick, and I'm so happy all the locals shared the love to teach us foreigners also to teach you guys around the world again hope you guys enjoyed this episode we have another one coming tomorrow see you guys later i'm going to bed we got to edit and we got to get up early because tomorrow we have a big massive crocodile project over and out